In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to configure, how to set up our smartphone in order to produce high quality video and what are the parameters that might be important to review. Marketing Automation Ninja. Hello everyone. So uh, I've been testing things with my smartphone and, and with a couple of configurations that it is possible. And, uh, and here are the essential I really recommend you to apply uh, on your smartphone before shooting your videos and, and before to be able to publish them. Um, the very first things to do is first to be sure that you disable the stereo audio. I mean, the, your smartphone, especially if it's a, a last generation and a high quality smartphone, will have several microphones and he will be able to, it will be able to record uh, the, the sound on the right and the sound on the left, which in the end um, will be reflected by the, the, the person, the person who is going to watch your videos or listen your your podcast. If, if you turn the, the, your head on the right or your head on the left, they will feel it. And it's going to be a bit annoying and disturbing, especially if they listen to podcast in the car, as example. Uh, they do not need to uh, to feel like you move on the right and move on the left when you whenever you turn your head. And and of course you're going to turn your head because if you if you talk like n in a natural way, you will move your hand, you will move your head, make some expression, turn your your your. You're going to look at things uh, on the right, on the left. Think of yeah gather your thinking, etc., your thoughts. And, um, and that's why it's imp is important to disable the stereo mode on your uh, smartphone. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to be sure that you use a standard format for the video. And I do recommend the full HD format, which is uh, 1920 per 1080 pixels. And that's the, the standard format uh, for classical videos. Um, I do not recommend to move on on a 4K format for now. Uh, I think it's going to be the standard in maybe two years or four years. Um, but for now, I think it's uh, it's too demanding for our smartphone, for the bandwidth. Um, and I think it's a uh, it's an overkill and it's not required uh, for now. I think a standard full HD uh, video is enough. Um, and that's very important, especially if you are on Android. Um, on Android, you have some smartphones that do not follow that standard by default and that have some wider videos. And, uh, and the result of that format is that if you publish that video on social media or even on, on YouTube, you will have a black band above and below your video, which I don't feel like looks really professional. So I do prefer to recommend you to just stick to the standard uh, format for your videos. Uh, next parameter that I would like you to review on your smartphone uh, is to use a, sta um, a stabilized uh, mode, uh, if your smartphone has that, of course. Because whenever, if you shake little, we always shake a little bit with our hands when we shoot videos. And, um, and if you shake a little bit, it's going to be really annoying when people will watch your videos. And, I, and, and, um, and they might be even a bit sick, you know. Uh, so that's, that's important to really use stabilized uh, V-image. And, uh, and you have pretty good sta um, stabilized mode on, uh, on recent smartphones and high-quality smartphones. Um, for, my, for myself, I use uh, an iPhone in the last generation of uh, the iPhone, which, of course, are really, really good. Um, but uh, if you, you can find the same type of uh, quality of an uh, Android, uh, Android phones, uh, as soon as you r take some, uh, not expensive, but yeah, a high, a high standout and uh, uh, phones and not the, the cheapest one. Uh, I really, if you want to shoot videos, I really do uh, recommend you to avoid uh, um, yeah, low cost phones, uh, because you will have difficulties with uh, the camera. The camera will, won't be the, the with a, a high quality camera. The microphone uh, won't be the high quality uh, microphones as well. And it's going to be annoying. So just go for a high standout f a smartphone, whatever, if it's an iPhone or it's a, an Android phone, uh, they are pretty good smartphones as soon as you, uh, you put the, the right price. 
Uh, and you can you can create some uh, some good videos as well. Uh, and last thing, if you don't have uh, a software based stable um, function to stabilize the image, you can use a specific tripod. I do recommend to use a tripod, uh, but there are some that are um, that have um, that have a function in tangling in the fur kind of a wheel uh, to stabilize your, your phone. And I think the, the well-known one is the DJI Cosmo. Uh, pretty expensive, but do some very, very good job. And, uh, and it enable you to uh, work, even to run with your smartphone in your hand without having your image that is uh, shaking. And that's pretty impressive what we can do with this type of, uh, of device. So that were the, the recommendation I, I have for you in order to produce high quality videos uh, and, uh, and stabilized and without any disturbing things. Wishing you a great day and I'm gonna talk to you again in the next episode. Bye for now. Marketing Automation Ninja.